Hey guys, World here. Today I'll be covering my 3.17 five way carry build. So, an introduction to five ways. Five ways are a legion encounter that you open using emblems from each of the legion armies. Inside, there will be a purple circle in the middle, which a resetter will run in and out of. After each reset, a new wave of mobs will spawn, which will be killed by the carry. People buy 5 wood carries since it is the fastest way to level. 5 wood carries will net over 15 exults an hour and yield massive XP gains, and it is the easiest way to get to level 100. You'll have consistently high profit per hour with pure currency, no luck involved. And you'll make profit by taking fees from the people you're carrying along with leveling gems. However, be wary. This build has an extremely high entry cost of a headhunter along with around 30 exults worth of gear. Now I'll cover the gear that I've been using in this build. So for the gear, I use a high physical DPS wand. You can start with a 400 DPS wand and work upwards until you're comfortable with the damage. I'm using a 480 PDPS wand. Uh, and we are going to be converting our physical damage to cold damage. As for our shield, we use Ashes Mirror, which gives lightning damage for each shocked enemy you've killed recently, and this will give a ton of flat lightning damage. For our helm, we are using a Crown of Ice, enchanted with Kinetic Blast, has 75% chance for an additional explosion. This will also give us increases and reductions to spell damage, also apply to attacks at 150% of their value, and we will also be buffing spell damage in this build. As for our body armor, we are using just a body armor with elevated mana cost, and enemies you have, uh, you kill will explode, and you're just going to awaken these together, and you don't really care about any of the other mods. For our gloves, we are using Shadows and Dust for Rampage, and we also want this along with an elemental weakness on hit, Corruption. As for our boots, we are using Replica Voidwalker. Uh, this will give us phasing along with plus one chain. And for our belt, we are obviously using a headhunter uh, for the buffs. For our amulet, we are using a solstice vigil to increase our buff uptime. And for our rings, we are using a mark of the elder along with a mark of the shaper just for the increased attack damage and increased spell damage. Alright, now I'll cover the flasks. As for our flasks, we are using a Cinder Swallow urn with reduced mana cost of skills along with recovering energy shield when you kill an enemy. This will give us Onslaught and also other useful things. We are using a Series Promise for just extra chaos damage. We are using a Dying Sun for additional projectiles along with increased AOE. We're using a Taste of Hate for physical as extra cold damage. And we are using a Quicksilver for movement speed. You want all of these flasks to be used when charge reach full. And to do this, we put our flask in the crafting bench. And we are going to craft it using instilling orbs along with glass blowers baubles. Alright, now for the passive tree. For our passive tree, we are stacking inspired learnings. Uh, so we are pathing to all of these jewel sockets. Um, we are also grabbing four notables around each of these jewel sockets. 
What is very important about this passive tree, however, is we are grabbing a cold mastery with cold conversion, along with a wand mastery with wands fire an additional projectile. As for our jewels, we are using three inspired learnings, and this these each will give us more buffs when we kill things. We're using two large cluster jewels, and these cluster jewels each have Force Multiplier, Iron Breaker, and Master D Fundamentals. And what we wanted here is just Iron Breaker and Force Multiplier. Force Multiplier for the double damage, and Iron Breaker for the increased physical damage. For our medium jewels, we use three rare medium jewels and each of these have Assert Dominance along with Magnifier. So Assert Dominance gives us Area of Effect and Magnifier gives us Area Effect along with Crit Multi. We are also going to use one Megalovaniac and the main mod you need here is Wish for Death because we want Cooling Strike on this build. Other than that, you just want two other nodes that are useful and will give you more damage. We use one Abyss Jewel, which is flat damage. Uh, you can also use um, an Abyss Jewel of Crit Multi and things like that. We use one Watcher's Eyes, which is which contains the mod Physical Damage Converted to Cold Damage while affected by Hatred. This is extremely important. We also use one Mantra of Flames, which will give us attack damage and spell damage per buff. And since we have Headhunter buffs, this will be a lot of flat damage. Something to note here is this jewel also has Corrupted Blood, cannot be inflicted on you. You want this mod on at least one of your jewels. Alright, as for gems, we will be using a Divergent Kinetic Blast supported by Awakened Fork, Elemental Damage with Attacks, Greater Multiple Projectiles, Elemental Penetration, and Divergent Inspiration. For our auras, we are using Herod of Purity, Hatred, Herod of Thunder, with an Enlightened 3 support, and we are also using a Herald of Ice, a Herald of Ash, and also Val Haste. For our other gems, we are using a Blood Rage for increased attack speed, and we are for our movement skill, we are using Flame Dash with faster casting. You can change this to Dash if you'd like. And for our Curse, we are using Sniper's Mark with Mark on Hit and Life Tap Support. Another useful gem that you may want is Anomalous Summon Flame Golem. However, this is not needed. As for our gems, you can see we have four... Well, we, we have empty sockets, so we have one, two, three, four, and five if you want. And we also have, in our offhand, nine more sockets. So this makes a total of 13 empty sockets that you can use, well, 13 to 14 empty sockets that you can use to level gems. So how do you actually start a 5-wit carry? So once you have this build set up, we're going to go to the TFT Discord. And people, you're going to make a post using their template. For example, I have my example post right here that I've used. And once you post this, people are going to message you and you'll invite them to your party. When everyone's in the party, you'll trade each of them and collect the fee. So for example, I have three results per five runs fee for my client. 
And when everyone's in the party, you're just going to start the five ways. You're going to go to the portal. The client will stand near this rock. And there's one designated resetter in the middle, which will run in and out of the purple circle. You'll run in circles around the outside, killing mobs around, along with bosses. And you want to make sure the bosses die before they reach your clients. To make sure clients do not die, and they'll gain XP. Having an orb on the party gives you more leeway with bosses, as they'll massively boost the defenses of the party. And yeah, this is how you become a 5-way carry. Hopefully this video was informative to you. If you've made it this far into the video, please like and subscribe. Good luck in your five ways, and see you in the next video.